like 5000 likes to this video, we will implode more patriotic news. Thank you. When wounded vets needed her, Melania agreed to do incredible things she's never done before. Melania Trump just announced her very first foreign trip alone as First Lady. Melania will be attending this year's Invictus Games in Toronto, Canada September 23-30 to as the leader of the U.S. delegation. Britain's Prince Harry founded the Invictus Games in 2014 as a means to fundraise and build awareness for servicemen and women injured in combat. Servicemen and veterans who have been wounded compete in Olympics-styled sporting events such as swimming and wheelchair basketball. Seventeen countries will participate in this year's Games. President Trump has voiced his support for veterans throughout his campaign and presidency, and Melania seems to hold those same values, saying in a statement, In just two short years, the Invictus Games have allowed thousands of injured and wounded servicemen and women from many different countries to participate in adaptive sports competitions, something that should be lauded and supported worldwide. I am honored by the opportunity to represent our country at this year's Games. It is so awesome that the First Lady is going to use her first trip abroad to honor wounded servicemen. Melania Trump has already completed several trips abroad with the President and has done an amazing job representing the USA. We know she'll continue to do great things at the Invictus Games and we can't wait to tune in and cheer for our wounded veterans right alongside her. H slash DC Journalists won't sleep tonight after seeing what Scaramucci did seconds ago to save Trump. Anthony Scaramucci and CNN's Chris Cuomo continued their interview this morning. It was incredible. Scaramucci just started talking about how leakers are attacking the White House. He then blasted the leakers for having the stupid notion that they are protecting America from, instead of making the administration's agenda reality. Scaramucci, last night we were having dinner. I told his wife, I looked over at the first lady and I said I forgot how much fun I used to have when I hung out with him on the campaign trail. He's a very interesting and very unique guy. There are people inside the administration that think it is their job to save America from this president. Okay? That is not their job. Their job is to inject this president into America so that he can explain his views properly and his policies so that we can transform America and drain the swamp and make the system fairer for the middle and the lower income people. Cuomo, look I understand that Anthony, Scaramucci, it is not their job from the establishment whose calcifications, to sit there and try to withhold the president, to rein him in, Cuomo, okay. Scaramucci or do things to him that slow down his agenda. Share this everywhere if you think that it's time for scary must I should clean house. Get this everywhere so the media knows what's coming. Smackdown look who's about to take down Hillary, Loretta Lynch and Comey in one fell swoop. Now we're getting somewhere, you'll. It's what we've all been waiting for. Republicans in the House Judiciary Committee sent a letter to the Justice Department, expressing their objection to House Special Prosecutor Robert Mueller's investigation into the 2016 election does not address some very important issues. Their letter, to Attorney General Jeff Sessions and Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, was written because Mueller is part of the witch hunt, and is only investigating President Trump. But what about the shenanigans committed by Hillary Clinton? or Loretta Lynch? Or James Comey? Check out this tweet, yes, these ballsy Republicans are calling Mueller out, and demanding a second special prosecutor, to investigate Loretta Lynch directing Comey to mislead America about the investigation into Clinton, immunity deals given to potential co-conspirators in the Clinton email scandal and leaks that unmasked Americans. It's about time Mueller gets called out for his one-sided investigation. Reports from Klatchide. If it's in the public interest to investigate the Trump administration, it is most certainly in the public interest to investigate the real crimes by the real criminals, said Rep. Matt Geetz, our Florida, a committee member. I agree, Paul heartedly. Let's investigate the real criminals, for goodness sake. Patriots, if you agree, too, please share this so all your friends and family contact their representatives to show support for a second special prosecutor. H slash T The Washington Times
Sarah Palin just upped the ante in her defamation lawsuit, and then it will be freaking out. The New York Times messed with the wrong lady. Sarah Palin is taking no prisoners in her fight against the media giant. Palin's legal team has plans to subpoena 23 NIT staff members in her defamation lawsuit and has asked for every internal communication it has had about the former vice presidential candidate since 2011. One day after a gunman opened fire on Rep. Steve Scalise and other Republican lawmakers, The New York Times ran an editorial claiming that Sarah Palin incited a similar attack on Rep. Gabby Giffords in 2011. The editorial said in part, at the time, of the attack on Giffords, we and others were sharply critical of the heated political rhetoric on the right. Before the shooting, Sarah Palin's political action committee circulated a map that showed the targeted electoral districts of Ms. Giffords and 19 other Democrats under stylized crosshairs. The Times faced backlash for the totally false claim, and printed a retraction saying, an editorial on Thursday about the shooting of Rep. Steve Scalise incorrectly stated that a link existed between political rhetoric and the 2011 shooting of Rep. Gabby Giffords. In fact, no such link was established. Even so, the Times did not delete the editorial in question. Palin filed a defamation lawsuit and is now seeking documents from the Times that may reveal, among other things, their negative feelings toward her. The Times has said it made an honest mistake and is asking the court to throw out the lawsuit. Palin's legal team is the same one that Hulk Hogan used during his successful defamation suit against Gawker, which forced Gawker to declare bankruptcy in 2016. This lawsuit will be one to watch as this could expose just how corrupt the media actually is we'll follow the developments closely, so stay tuned. And good luck to Sarah Palin in her fight against dishonest media. H slash T the hill. Right after leakers, scare must I just opted Bannon and Priebus for something. Watch out, patriots. This story contains some explicit language. So if you've got sensitive eyes around, you may want to be careful. We know New Yorkers can be brash, but this just about takes the cake. Trump's new communications director, Anthony Scaramucci, got pretty blunt about some things, in an interview with The New Yorker on Wednesday night. According to The New Yorker article, Scaramucci laid into Trump's chief of staff, Reince Priebus, and Steve Bannon, his senior strategist. And let's say he used some very colorful language. It was Scaramucci's belief that Priebus is a leaker, who has leaked information to the media. Apparently, There's been bad blood between Priebus and Scaramucci since just after the election, when Trump wanted to add Scaramucci to his administration but Priebus didn't approve. Of this, Scaramucci said Priebus is a co-percent K-blocker for keeping him out of Trump's administration. I told you to watch sensitive eyes. And he had some words about Steve Bannon, too, saying, I'm not Steve Bannon. I'm not trying to suck my own co-percent K. Yes. You read that right. My apologies. Explaining, he said I'm not trying to build my own brand off the foo percent and ung strength of the president. I'm here to serve the country. Sarah Huckabee said this about the whole thing, I guess he felt kinda bad after, because he tweeted this, passionate indeed. I love the passion, and we need to figure out who the leakers are. But, yay, let's cut the bad words. If you love the passion of the Trump administration, let's get this shared worldwide. H slash T The Daily Mail Take down the Judiciary Committee just made an announcement that will have Lynch and Comey panicking. The House Judiciary Committee officially voted to begin a probe into the actions of former FBI Director James Comey and former Attorney General Loretta Lynch on Wednesday. The new investigation which was authorized by passing an amendment in the Judiciary Committee, will look into Comey's potential leaking activities and Lynch's handling of the federal investigation into Hillary Clinton's emails. The Judiciary Committee voted 1613 along partisan lines for this measure, and the Democrats were not pleased. Rep. Steve Cohen, DTN, said, This is the most astonishing moment I've ever experienced in the Judiciary Committee. 
to take a question about the firing of James B. Comey and turn it into a question about Hillary Clinton? The chairman has left the room. Justice has left this room. Common sense has left this room. A lot of stuff has left this room, and maybe never entered it. Ha, these Democrats can cry me a river, especially after their nonsensical Russia investigation hysterics. As Rep. Andy Biggs, RAS, said about the new investigations, in my district, my constituents say, hey, what's going on with investigation of the crimes of the previous administration? When I hear talk that this contains right-wing conspiracies, well, I'll tell you, my constituents think what's going on in the other bill are left-wing conspiracy theories. The probe is wide-ranging and, according to Briet Bart, will include investigating into Lynch's order that Comey refer to the Clinton email investigation as a matter. Comey's communication with the Columbia University law professor who helped leak his Trump meeting memos. The Clinton Foundation's influence from foreign governments, especially the Uranium One deal where Russians gained U.S. uranium assets. The tarmac meeting between Bill Clinton and Loretta Lynch during the 2016 campaign. Comey's possible knowledge of Susan Rice's potentially improper unmasking of Americans related to the Trump team. Possible immunity deals given to those related to the Hillary Clinton email scandal. And a few more. You can read the whole list here we have to wait and see if Comey and Lynch will go along with the investigation, or if the committee will subpoena them or their associates if they don apostrophe t. Paul Ryan could also potentially block the probe with his power as House Speaker. This House Judiciary Committee investigation is about to get very interesting, we might finally start getting some answers about the shady dealings of the Obama administration. As always, Liberty writers will be following it closely so stay tuned, patriots. H slash T Washington Post, Briette Bart.